Welcome to Science for Schools. In this episode, we're going to prepare oxygen and examine its properties. For this experiment, we're going to need hydrogen peroxide, manganese oxide, a retort stand, and the various glassware that we have here. We also need some lime water and some universal pH indicator. We'll also need some magnesium. Most importantly, guys, we need our glasses on so we can see the results. Now to prepare oxygen gas, you're going to do key decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. That means the hydrogen peroxide is going to break down into water and oxygen. To do that, you use a catalyst. The catalyst is this black powder here called manganese oxide. It's in here. We're going to collect the gas that's produced inside this jar or flask going to travel through this tube and into this gas jar here. We're going to collect five samples of oxygen. Now it's very important that you do this very slowly and let in a tiny bit of the hydrogen peroxide. So you can see we quickly get our bubbles in here. That's one jar. A little bit more in. So now we have our five jars of oxygen. The first jar that we collected, this one here, is going to be the waste jar because this won't be pure oxygen. All the air that was in this conical flask initially is now in this jar along with a bit of oxygen. So we'll just leave this as waste. Now, the first test we're going to do is we're going to test to see if the oxygen will relight the glowing splint. So when I blow out this match, it should glow red, and then when I dip it into the oxygen, it should reignite. Oxygen is the only gas that will do this. So this proves that this is oxygen. In the second jar, we're going to burn magnesium. When magnesium burns, it burns with a bright white flame. In oxygen, it burns even brighter. Be careful not to look at this flame because it's really bright. When magnesium burns in oxygen, it makes a compound called mangane magnesium oxide. Magnesium oxide will test. So that burned really bright in oxygen. We're now going to use universal indicator paper to test the pH of this. So I'm going to get right down here to magnesium oxide. Now we've had a colour change on the paper, let's take a look. So it's got a blue colour which shows about pH of 10 or 11 which is a basic pH. That shows that the magnesium oxide is a basic compound. Now I'm going to test the pH of oxygen. I'm going to use my universal indicator paper again and put this into the jar of oxygen. I'll give it a bit of a shake. Now, you can see a green colour at the bottom of the jar. Green indicates a neutral pH. 
that shows that oxygen is a neutral gas. Now for the last test, I'm going to burn some carbon in oxygen. So I'll light it off the Bunsen burner first. And once it's glowing hot, I'll plunge it into the oxygen. And we'll see what happens. Now the, ox or the carbon has lit in the oxygen jar and is now glowing red in the oxygen jar. Now we're going to test the substance in here now with lime water and see if it's carbon dioxide. So as we know carbon dioxide causes lime water to turn milky. So we can see the lime water has turned from clear to milky. This shows that there's now carbon dioxide in the jar instead of oxygen. That's the end of that experiment. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.